Welcome to Ride JBI. This is JB. Today we have a new product that is being released. It is the JBI Suspension Fork Volume Spacer. That is this black rubber piece right here. And it sits just above the spring perch. It has a slit in it to allow you to easily install it over the cartridge tube. And then it's provided with four stainless steel springs that fit into these grooves and hold this into place so it won't move when you ride. Now you might be asking, why is this needed or why would this help? These are a set of Kawasaki KX450 forks. In stock form, they come with 290 cc's to 300 cc's of oil from the factory. And they did this on purpose. Reason being is when you run a lower oil height in your fork, that delays the engagement of your spring perch. That's this item right here. So as the fork compresses through the travel, at a certain point, this spring perch is going to engage the oil that's in this outer tube. So going back to our stock Kawasaki, say you wanted to add bottoming resistance and you added oil to your forks. What would happen is as you add oil, the level in the fork increases of where the oil's at. So what that means is your spring perch is going to engage a lot earlier into the travel, meaning it's going to provide additional compression resistance much sooner. Also, the internal pressure inside the fork is going to build up more rapidly because of the additional oil inside of the fork. Both of these things do a great job in providing additional bottoming resistance but what often happens is the fork becomes too stiff too soon or at a certain spot it becomes harsh and this is because of the engagement of the spring perch right here it starts contributing a lot of compression resistance aka bottoming resistance so a way to get around that is we can keep using the stock oil volume of 300 cc's in this fork so that we keep the engagement of the spring perch near the end of travel. But we can add in what's called a volume spacer. These are 40 cc's of volume. And we put that right above here. So now the fork thinks it has 340 cc's of oil inside of it or volume. So as the fork compresses through travel, it's going to build up air resistance at a much faster rate than it would with the lesser oil volume. But what's also happening is our engagement of the spring perch is still down at the bottom of the stroke. So with this, we added bottoming resistance, but we maintained the smoothness and the good feel of the fork travel through the fork travel. So a volume spacer is just another way for us to manipulate um, the progressiveness of a fork, meaning how progressively stiff or firm it gets as it goes through the travel. Uh, this concept is nothing new, man. It is commonly used in mountain bikes for uh, air shocks, air forks, and that nature. They provide you with volume spacers so you can adjust the progressive nature of that shock absorber. So we're just borrowing some of that tech and applying it to us. Um, we've been using these for about two, almost three years now. Uh, we've had a bunch of different prototype versions of these. A lot of them were 3D printed for a while. So um, a lot of our customers have been using them with very good feedback for a while. And now we finally have the production version of these. If you're wondering if these can be utilized with a pro perch or a different aftermarket spring perch, and the answer is yes, absolutely. Um, this mod is gonna be most best received by people that do motocross and off-road riding. Those are the ones that are gonna get the most advantage out of this type of setup. This product is now available on ridejbi.com. We can read more about it and get all the details. It is definitely going to be your most cost-effective and cheapest way of adding bottoming to your forks without making the initial part of the travel stiffer. 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.